So we're here at a place called La Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. So we're gonna go and check it out. The Basilica the Sagrada Familia was inspiration of a bookseller, Joseph Maria Bocabella, founder of Asociación Espiritual de Devotos de San Jose. After a visit to the Vatican in 1872, Bocabella returned from Italy with the intentions of building a church inspired by the Basilica of Loreto. The Pis Crypt of the church, funded by donations, was begun March 19, 1882, on the festival of San Jose. To the design of the architect Francisco de Paola de Villa, whose plan was for the Gothic Revival Church of Standard Form, Sagrada Familia as an exploratory temple has always been funded through the donations and contributions of thousands of anonymous individuals over the years. The Pitts Crypt was completed before Biada's resignation on March 18, 1883, when Antonio Gaudi assumed responsibility for his design, which he changed radically. Antonio Gaudi promoted the project by the people for the people. Five generations later, he watched the temple progress in Barcelona. So we already bought our tickets to go inside the uh, Sagrada Familia Church here in Barcelona. So we have to go inside. We had to buy our ticket around the corner. And uh, now we have to go to form the line to go, uh, to, to go inside. La Sagrada Familia is a giant basilica that has been under construction since 1882 and is not expected to be completed for some time yet what he had in mind. However, today, because of the nature of the existing design, his work is partially open to interpretation. The interpretation of the design by present-day architects is particularly challenging because the actual construction stones are irregularly architecture. There are no exact right angles to be seen inside or outside the church and few straight lines in the design. Gaudi's original design calls for a total of 18 spires representing an ascending order of height the 12 apostles, the Virgin Mary, the four evangelists, and tallest of all, Jesus Christ. Eight spires have been built as of 2010 corresponding to four apostles of the nativity facade and four apostles at the passion facade. This center spire of Jesus Christ is to be surrounded by a giant cross, its total height 172.5 meters or 566 feet, will be less than that of Mojisic Hill in Barcelona as Gaudi believes that his creation should not surpass God's. The lower spires are surmounted by million host with sheaves of wheat and chalices. Something pretty cool that I just learned off of my little audio uh, is the numbers that you see back there in the back, the depiction back there. If you add up any of those numbers, it adds up to 33, which is Jesus' age on his crucifix. Just like that. So, those numbers right there, that's what those mean. Construction between 1894 and 1930, the Nativity facade was the first facade to be completed. Dedicated to the birth of Jesus, it is decorated with scenes, reminiscent of elements of life. Characteristics of Gaudi's naturalistic style, the scriptures are ornately arranged and decorated with scenes and images from nature, each a symbol in its own manner. Originally, Gaudi intended for the facade to be polychrome for each archivolt to be painted with a wide array of colors. He wanted every statue and figure to be painted. In this way, the figure of humans would appear as much alive as the figures of plants and animals. In contrast to the highly decorated nativity facade, the passion facade is ouster, plain and simple, with ample bare stones, 
and it's carved with harsh straight lines to resemble the bones of skeletons. Dedicated to the Passion of Christ, the suffering of Jesus during the crucifixion. Going to the, uh, the uh, Sagrada Familia Basilica. We're just now entering. And this is, wow, amazing. In the interior, the central nave vaults reach 45 meters or 148 feet, while the side of the nave vaults reach 13 meters, 98 feet. The central vault reaches 60 meters or 200 feet. Besides branch to support their load, their ever-changing surfaces are the result of the intersection of various ge geometrical forms. The simplest example is that of a square base evolving into an octagon as the columns rise, then a 16-sided form, and eventually to a circle. This effect is the result of three-dimensional intersections of helicoidal columns. Themes throughout the decoration include words from the liturgy. The steeples are decorated with words such as Hosanna, Ecclesis, and Sanctus. The Greek doors of the Passion Facade reproduce excerpts of the Passion of Jesus from the New Testament in various languages, mainly Catalan. And the Glory Facade is to be decorated with the words from the Apostle Creed, while its main door reproduces the entire Lord's Prayer in Catalan, surrounded by multiple variations of Give Us This Day Our Daily Bread in other languages. The three entrances symbolize the three virtues, faith, hope, and love. Each of them is also dedicated to a part of Christ's life. Visitors can access the nave, crypt, museum, shop, and the Passion and Nativity steeples. Entrance to either of these steeples requires a reservation and advanced purchase of a ticket. The Archdiocese of Barcelona holds an international mass at the Basilica of Sagrada Familia every Sunday and on holy days of obligation at 9 a.m. There is no charge for attending mass, but capacity is limited. Visitors are asked to dress appropriately and behave respectfully. So just went into the chapel area, had a little bit of mass. But this is uh, one of the little areas of a uh, church here down in Barcelona. One of the little four-door areas, little hall areas, which is now exiting. About to go inside where the uh, church is at. Some of the questions that some people might have in these times of 2021. What are the COVID-19 safety measures of the Sagrada Familia? As indicated, the Sagrada Familia reopened its doors on the 29th of May, 2021, and will only be open on Saturdays and Sundays for now. There is only one type of ticket available, the Sagrada Familia Fast Track Ticket, with the app Audio Guide included, and the following safety measures are in place. Wearing a face mask inside the Sagrada Familia and in Barcelona is compulsory. Hand sanitizers are available inside the Sagrada Familia. There is a unique visit route inside the Basilica so that all visitors follow the same direction keeping the same distances. The Sagrada Familia has an indoor air renewal and air treatment system. Disinfections and cleaning has been intensified. The Sagrada Familia Tower are closed as safety distances cannot be maintained in the towers. And if you like this video from the Sagrada Familia in Barcelona and you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye.